In today's video, I want to show you something that I've often talked about, but I don't think I've shown you before, and that is what I call tandem charging, meaning that I'm going to connect a solar panel through a charge controller up to a battery and connect the battery up to a power station so that the battery's charging the power station and the solar panel's charging the battery. So without yakking too much more, let's go get her done. All right. Sorry about the light, folks. <coughs> I don't have the best lighting here because... I need to be able to set up so that you can see what's going on. We will go ahead and move this over here. I should have just turned it the other way, but so we'll take this 100 amp terminal fuse, put it between these two batteries. All right, so we've got positive to negative on these two batteries. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this charge controller and we're gonna set this up. <laughs> Sorry for the mess. We will set this up over here. Okay, there we go. Now, when I look at this guy right here, it shows me that I have a battery. Oh, it thinks it's 12 volts still, folks. There we go. So what I had to do when I hooked this up, because it was set up as 12 volts before, I had to go into the settings and change it to 24 volts. So everything there is set up. Now all we have to do is connect this up to the power station. Now we've got 26.7 volts. So we now have a charge controller set up on 24 volts and two 12 volt batteries in series. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna move my stuff here and take this Opus Mega One and plug that in like so. That way the Opus Mega One will be taking a charge. First thing I wanna do is show you that we are indeed pulling some power from those batteries. And there you go, you can see that we're pulling 200 watts currently. All right, just to give you a quick shot of what we're doing here, we have a 100 amp terminal fuse, positive side on this battery, going to the negative side on that battery. And on the other side of the batteries, the positive side here goes to the charge controller and the negative side goes to the charge controller and you can see positive and negative here are actually going right down here to the Opus Mega One, which is pulling over 200 watts. We're up to 224, I saw there a second ago. There you go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set up solar. All right, folks, well, let me get this set up. This is the OptiSolix. It's just a simple foldable panel. It's kind of a cool panel. I'm, I'm really digging it, to be honest with you. I like the fact that I can set it in series or parallel. So that's kind of nice. So we are getting almost 300, what's 330 plus, 340. I saw 341 there. And that's just coming off these two batteries in series. And it's not utilizing this because as you can see, there's no solar panel set up there. So what we're gonna do now, connect solar panel now we've got the solar panel coming in. So we're pulling 10 amps, so over 300 watts. If you look here, we're pulling over 300 watts. So we are currently charging the batteries with this guy here. Now let's do some math. 10.6 times 33.7. We're getting 357.22 total watts. So we've got the OptiSolix solar panels going into my Lee Time 30 amp charge controller, giving me over 350 watts, which is charging up my two 12 volt batteries, which are wired in series. And those two batteries are feeding my Opus Mega One with about 330 to 340 total watts. We're actually pulling over 350 watts out of the OptiSolix 400 watt portable solar panel. And that is feeding my lead time 30 amp charge controller, which is charging up two 12.8 volt cycle and bat mini batteries. And those two batteries are then feeding the Opus Mega One with about 340 watts of charging power. So that means that we're actually charging those batteries up while we're also charging up the Opus Mega One. Oh, it's pretty warm out here, folks. About 95 degrees, gonna get to 100 today. So <laughs> I, you know, it's not my usual shop environment, but I hope that this helps you see how you can actually 
charge the batteries that you're using to extend the life of your power station. So I have added 2,560 watt hours to my Opus Mega One, effectively making it a 3,600 watt hour power station. It's got a 2,000 watt inverter, so I could run quite a bit of stuff off that. Now, there is one thing you've got to realize when you do this, and that is I'm only drawing about 340 watts off of those batteries, and that's all I'm likely to get using that port unless I put a 48 volt battery in or I parallel two batteries and I could do that. I could take my big golf cart battery, parallel it to the Opus Mega One to give me an additional 5,100 watt hours, taking me over 6,000 watt hours of power, all available to the inverter, but I'm only gonna be charging it at about 350 watts with this setup. Maybe I can get a little more out of these panels. They are rated at 400 or 440, so it's possible I could get that if it were solar noon which it will be before too long now and i probably would get that but for now this is working great and of course what i could do i could put my 60 amp charge controller on here and i could double my power going into these batteries in fact i could really go and put you know a thousand watts or more into these batteries so it would work really well if i were to do that it, there's lots of options when you do this you're really bumping up against the do-it-yourself off-grid world so just something to kind of bear in mind but you can absolutely do this especially in an emergency this would extend this power station very very well and i could charge it up all day long if i've got good sun which typically here in the, in the area i live you do so that's all there is to it i want to take a minute to thank my members thank you so much for supporting the channel i really do appreciate it and meanwhile, folks, I'll drop another video over here for you to check out. Thanks again for watching. The old jar head out.